Good evening, greetings from Hinder Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So we have the first of the 2023s out of the crate, and this is a, well, it's not really a new color, but it is a new color. Uh, it's IKB Blue. It's a gloss blue color. Kind of similar to the two-tone blue and white patrol that they had a few years ago. Actually, about 10 years ago now, I guess. Uh, but anyway, this is a beautiful blue color. It does have the black badging there. And we just got it out of the crate this afternoon and thought we'd go ahead and do a little little walk around before we put it together. There you see the sidecar. And we'll also do a good video outside, um, do some overview outside that we can see it in the sunlight and then in the dim light outside or the overcast skies. Of course, also there's been several of little minor odds and ends changes. This is probably fairly significant. Uh, this is the CV shaft, uh, two wheel drive shaft. Um, that is going to be uh, the shaft that you could replace your existing unit with. Uh, it'll go right in. Um, pretty much just turns that from U-joints to, to CV with the two boots there, boot on either end. Looks like it should work out very well. Kind of eliminates the stub shaft that was there before. Uh, this is just going to bolt right onto our final drive. Um, so that's how they come in from the, from the factory in the crate. So you've got that sitting there. Again, there's going to be lots of uh, dust and fingerprints, and uh, there's even some polish left on it because um, we haven't gotten it cleaned up yet. Uh, we'll get it cleaned up once we get it put together. Uh, but I did want to go ahead and take this opportunity to do a little walk-around video. Uh, other odds and ends changes, um, not real significant. It's just a uh, elimination of one little piece because this is now cast into the block, uh, the riser for the uh, crank position sensor. And then also on the other side, this kind of looks kind of neat. Uh, looks a little bit more finished. Um, you have the uh, starter cover uh, is now cast into the into the block assembly. And then of course inside here we do have our uh, our roller tappets along with our different camshaft. Uh, camshaft lobes are a little bit wider for the roller tappets. Over here on this 2014, you see there was our starter cover. Uh, you see how that was uh, that was bolted on like so. Uh, whereas the new one's now integrated. And then on the right side of this 2004, this is a 14 model, uh, but you see we had this uh, pesky rubber plug that a lot of a lot of folks would lose. Um, these are readily available; it's no big deal. Uh, just about anything uh, can can plug that hole. That's your timing inspection hole. Um, flywheels inside there. Uh, so now what you have is you do have um, M21 and a half little threaded uh, threaded plastic plug. Look kind of cool. Somebody made these out of aluminum. Uh, could very easily be done. Definitely easy to machine something like that. Now you could duplicate them in aluminum. Then hey, maybe you could sell them. Um, but if the camera will focus there, maybe not. Going to be kind of pesky there this evening as far as getting that to focus. Uh, but we do have M20 by one and a half. So that's a little threaded threaded plug there. And it is like I say plastic black ABS plastic appears to be. I assume it's ABS, don't quote me on that, but uh, nonetheless, uh, this is not a screwdriver. This is actually a tool that's for uh, removing those turn fasteners. Um, if you guys are looking for something, yeah, this one came from, came from Snap-on. There's the part number, S6180. Nice little tool going to work out well for for that purpose yeah you could use a wide flat slot screwdriver you just want to be very careful uh, that's not something that really needs to be torqued down all that tight so um, just don't want to go ham-fisted on that uh let's see we talked about the uh roller tappets the new plug the changes in a couple of the castings uh, of course this block is now uh, done outside. It's not done from the uh, the factory like it used to be. They did outsource that item, so it's a lot better, a lot better quality. Uh, and then there's been some improvements there on the inside as far as the fitment goes, uh, and that, all that good stuff. Um, believe the way that they did the. Uh, oh, there's uh, Ural has a good video. David goes through um, how the the oil delivery and whatnot uh, and the bearing um, bearing area, how that's uh, actually a machine piece rather than being. Just take a, a pry bar and bend it in order to, uh, to fit that in. So you can definitely check out the Ural's video on that. Uh, that's on the official Ural uh, YouTube channel. And of course, we'll have more and more goodies as we get into uh, 
get into going through the the new 23s uh, this is also different um, underneath here is your oil pump drive gear uh, your oil pump drive gear sits down in there runs off your camshaft uh, so you see right here you would have uh, camshaft runs through there's four lobes on your cam um, into the back the drive gear sits back here and then you've got a, a corresponding gear that sits down like so spins around whirly 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 open and close clatter 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 bang 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 you know how that goes um, but anyway they're roller tappets now so there'll be a lot less adjustment and then as we talked about we do have the uh, the starter cover cast in uh the first shipment of bikes that came in actually the first couple shipments all the engines are silver why are all the engines silver because it's such a beautiful new casting that's why uh, the black will be available, um, but uh, like I said, the first uh, few containers of bikes that are coming in, all of them do have the silver engine, uh, but you can always be the uh, first one on your block to have a new 2023 Euro motorcycle. Uh, this particular one is available. We're going to offer some special uh, odds and ends to go with it. Can't really talk too much about those, but you can definitely give us a call. Uh, we'll work you up some package uh, goodies as well. Uh, so whoever buys the first 2023, we're going to throw in some other some other odds and ends and what else do we have 2023 pricing uh, this unit is what they consider a standard gear up uh, so it does have the uh, um, spare wheel on the sidecar and all that good stuff uh, so all that stuff is there front bumper and whatnot uh, so this unit msrp starts out twenty two thousand, and then of course with the inbound freight and our setup charge uh, you're going to be uh, just under 24 with it uh, 23 and some change i think is where we're at inbound destination charge runs 995 and then plus setup and odds and ends so Add you just under two thousand to it, so that puts you just under twenty four thousand uh, plus tax, of course, out the door if tax is applicable. Uh, some of the states that we sell into, uh, we don't have to charge sales tax because you pay that when you register in your home state. Uh, Pennsylvania being one of those. Pennsylvania, West Virginia, uh, Indiana, and Michigan. We actually collect. Uh, there's a reciprocity, reciprocity agreement between the states, uh, so we do collect uh, sales tax in those two states as well as a few others um, so there's a whole different uh, tax laws that go along with it uh, but we keep up on that so if you have a question about that give us a call send us an email um, of course you see we got some tape hanging down this kind of stuff bugs me uh, we'll go ahead and pull that tape off of there there we go packing material from the crate so again this is the new blue color uh unit's going to be on the floor uh, we'll go ahead and get her put together tomorrow tomorrow's friday uh, we'll have it fully assembled um, before the close of business tomorrow uh, so it is available 2023 euro gear up and we'll probably go ahead and put fuel in this one too that way we can start it up uh, we'll try to do a video of 22 and 23 running side by side that way there shouldn't be i don't foresee any differences in uh uh, the noise um, but you never know so we'll have to check that out and you guys will find out firsthand once we find out as always really appreciate you guys watching hindo motorcycle sales eaton ohio